So they called me and told me my pigs were ready to be picked up. So today I went up the mountain, picked up her pork, got that cooler. This cooler and one more up front. We're gonna unload them and uh, start packing the freezer. So we've got our ribs, baby backs in St. Louis. We've got our Boston butts and two hams. We've got our Italian sausages. Um, got our pork chops, our breakfast sausages and patties. This is some more Italian sausages with our pork loins down here. So we're pretty excited about all this. We're excited to try it out. Our pork belly is, you want to tell them where our pork belly is? In Asheville. Getting cured for the next two weeks. Because we don't know how to do that on our own yet. But we're going to learn how to cure ham. So that we can eat it this winter. Yep. So we're pretty excited about all this and we'll try it out. So yeah. So this afternoon, um, we're going to load up the farm tractor. We have a, a lease property about 10, 15 minutes from the house. I'm gonna drop off the farm tractor to um, get started on bush hogging for the year. So uh, we're gonna load it up now. Hey, baby. Where's your mama? We're all loaded up and ready to go for in the morning. All right, now 
now since we got that done let's go check on the pigs and see how they're doing well, before that let's throw some bread out some chickens They're doing pretty good. And top their feet off a little bit and that'll do it. We're soaking that for a little bit, mush it up, and we're good to go. So it's Saturday now. Um, earlier this week, you saw a video of us unloading a bunch of meat, a bunch of pork into the freezer. That was Tuesday. Today is Saturday, and on Saturdays, we like to cook up some breakfast. We've got some bacon from a local butcher. We've got some of our sausage that we unloaded. And this is our first time eating our own meat. Yes, so we're excited to try this out. Um, we're doing this with some of our farm eggs. And for dinner today, we've got... I've got a really close friend who lives close by. He's already butchering some of his cows and stuff. We got a brisket from him. Really excited to try that out. So we'll see how that goes. First time cooking it, it could be a disaster. I don't know. We'll find out together. Mm. Mm. Yum. So this is like my or to bit time checking on it. It's only been on here two hours. It's already close to being temp, 165. So I'm a little nervous it's drying out too fast. I don't know, it's first time. So I'm gonna spray a little apple cider vinegar on it. Try to keep some of that moisture in it and we'll see how it goes. Got it to about 160, 165, and we're gonna wrap it and finish the cookout. So we'll let that sit on there for a couple more hours, get it to 205 and see what happens. Just 
chilling in the shade. You'll be able to see him better as we get closer. So we're over here, we have about 40 acres of pasture that we lease about 20 minutes from our house. We have 12 cows over here. We have 10 mamas, a baby, and a bull. And uh, we're just blessed to be able to continue to grow our cattle program. Um, five of these cows over here have embryos in them, and the other five, the bull is hopefully servicing. So uh, next spring, um, early summer we'll be able to have 10 calves over here so yeah um this is you saw early in the video of me loading the tractor up and uh we brought her over here and i've got a guy that's bush hogging all this for me maybe she can show you all a little so bit. this patch here still needs to be cut just trying to trim down all the weeds we're not we don't spray over here and up there beyond that gate there's probably like another seven to ten acres that still has to be the chalk, so um, a little bit more work to do here, and then this acreage will be done. Here's the bull that's supposed to be cleaning everything up for the five mamas who didn't take to the Indios. Have here. Do you have some brisket? Lean, pretty lean, right? Yes, yeah, we prefer it. turned out really good. We prefer it um, a little more on the drier side and um, a little bit leaner. But we smoked it all day. We put it in a cooler for like three hours. Um, and we've tasted it and we're pretty happy. How many with hours it. did you actually smoke it for? I don't know. I started at seven this morning and I think. When it's all like said done, it was four. Like no, it was three. It was three when it was done. So four would have been one hour in the cooler. So about three hours in the cooler. And this is we already we tasted it, and yeah, we're we're fans. Yeah, we like it. Thank you, Corey. Yep. So we just finished supper. I figured I'd come out here and rotate some cows. Oh, it feels amazing out here. It's probably 72, 73 degrees. Oh, it feels like fall, and I love it. Ross, I put my cowboy boots on for you. I know you're complaining about that a lot, so. But anyways, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Let's move some cows. This is where I find them. I don't know if it, this phone can pick up just how beautiful it is out here, but man, I'm so lucky. Lord has really blessed us to be able to live here. Zonkey agrees. Let's we'll see if we can call them up. Help! Come on! Help! Let's go! Here they come. Come on! You ever ready for a new pasture? 
Let's try to do this and not get run over. So, we sprayed this pasture uh, I think two weeks ago. Could have been last weekend. I don't know. I'm not good with <clears throat> time these days. That's why it looks a little... It looks terrible, honestly. But um, we'll let this die down. Then we'll probably... I don't know if we'll cut it. Or we'll just throw down a bunch of ryegrass. I'm not sure. But yeah, they seem to be loving it. So, like I've said before in previous videos, we rotate these cows every seven days. Um, there's three sections of the farms we rotate them for. So every, we put them on here for seven days and then for 14 days, this little section will rest and regrowth. And then I'll rotate right back on it. Um, it works pretty good here. Um, we can run more cows at home this way. Um, but yes, yeah, so let's go check on the piggies. Chickens were out of, almost out of feeds. Now I will say for the most part, our chickens are range free, but we have a lot of predators around here. There's a nest of hawks and coyotes and foxes we fight all the time. So when it starts getting bad, we'll leave them pinned up for a week or so to try to deter more violence. But um, yeah, so let's check on those pigs. Well, we've got all our chores done and it was a pretty good Saturday here. So we appreciate you stopping in and checking us out at Talent Family Ranch. We'll see you next time.